Hi there, Mark from UK EDC. Thanks for joining me once again. Actually, I've not done a video for a long time, as you probably noticed. Basically, I'm fed up of reviewing rubbish. Um, so I've not done it for a while. I've been waiting for someone to contact me with something decent to review. And lo and behold, the guys from MRF Multi Tools asked me if I'd review this for you. So this is actually, well, I want to call it a prototype. It's one of the first runs of their Universal 4.0. This is available on Kickstarter at the moment. So let's have a look at this one now. And we'll do a quick review on there and tell you how that's changed from the Universal 3.0. So I'll leave those two on there just for you to see for a little while. Check that out and I'll come back and give you the full down review. So you may be thinking, what's the difference between the 3.0 and the 4.0? So the 3.0 for reference is the silver one. This is actually titanium, night and night. The 4.0 is the green one with a Cerakote coating on it. So you may notice that this edge here and this edge here is quite sharp. That was part of the feature of selling the 3.0. It had two cutting edges on there, which you can of course use for opening boxes, etc. This one hasn't actually got this. It's got a slight slant there, so you could use it as a scraping tool. And we've got a few additional features along the bottom, namely some spoke wrenches here. And one thing I was very skeptical about when I first saw it, knife sharpener and knife angle sharp uh, knife angle identifier when i saw that i thought that's not going to sharpen your knives tried it lo and behold it does actually sharpen your knives so i was quite chuffed with that as well loads and loads of wrenches on here i think there's like 24 wrenches so what sets this apart from this i'll tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to show you that now let's move that to one side So the thing that makes the 4.0 different to the 3.0, we haven't got those sharp edges as we discussed, but what we have got, and there's three different kinds of kits you can get for this. This is uh, the EDC version, I believe. So this bit here actually clips into the grooves here, just by pushing them in, clicks into place. It's not gonna come out, but you can detach it with a little bit of force. So as you can see here, I've got a beard comb. I'm just gonna slide that open and that clicks into place. It doesn't lock, it clicks into place. And I can comb my beard. If you've got hair, you can comb your hair. I haven't got much hair, as you probably remember. And I've got a Phillips screwdriver on the end, so I've got an additional screwdriver. I can then close that one up. And on the other side, the reason we haven't got these sharp edges now is because we've actually got a knife blade. This is chisel ground and the chisel was facing down this way, so you're not gonna cut yourself. First thing I thought of, I put that in my bag, in my pocket, etc. I'm gonna cut myself, but unless you're very, very, try really, really hard. Actually, I'm, you can see I'm scraping that with my thumb and nothing's actually happening. So we can open that one up and we've got a fully functioning lock back knife. So it is actually legal to carry. The reason I made this detachable, I'll just put it out from there so you can see, is that is TSA uh, compliant. Now, I'm not quite sure what that means. I don't think we have that in the UK, but it's something to do with aviation. You can't carry sharp things onto uh, a plane. Uh, as there's no sharp edges or anything on here, that is fully legal to carry on planes. <clears throat> Obviously, check where you are in, what country you're in, and what country you're going to. Don't take my word for that, but this is TSA compliant as far as I am aware. Okay, one other thing I did notice as well is when you actually open this up from the comb section and hold it like that, you've actually got a knife with a handle now. And again, it's legal because it's non-locking. We've got a little click there, so I don't know. I expect I'm going to get some comments in there saying, well, actually, it is locking because it stops. But then again, you could say that about a friction folder or a slip joint as well. They all do stop somewhere. It takes a little bit of pressure to get them off there. But a useful thing is you have, now have in your hand a knife that you can use as a standard everyday slip joint knife. OK, so this, let's just close this for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slip this in here. So this is the piece that slips into into this receptacle here. And I always get this wrong way around. I think it's that way around. I'm gonna pop that in there like so. And you can see it clicks in there. You can fold your tools up. And we've got a little bit of extra width on it, but it's not too bad, considering all the tools you get on here, which I'm gonna run through for you now. So have a quick look at that. Okay. So I've zoomed in on this little card for you now. I'm just gonna go through some of the features. I'm gonna read this off a list because there's many, many things. So you've got your knife angles and knife sharpener, a burring tool. You've got a guitar string act guide ruler. Now, I'm not quite sure what that is because I'm not very musical. You've got protractors in here. You've got several screwdrivers. You've got nail part pullers there. You've got scoring tools. You've obviously got your, your knife and your beard comb and Phillips driver on there as well. Knife sharpening guide and knife sharpener, which doesn't work, which I was surprised about. You've got a little SOS reminder on there as well. Rulers, straight edges, plumb bombs, 
uh, O2 oxygen wrenches. You can determine distance by using this feature here. If you use the formula LDH uh, times L, Lindel, I think that is. Uh, I'm not very good at math, so you have to take my word for that one. You've got a moon phase calendar. You've got a clock on there as well. Basically, if you can be bothered to read this leaflet and work out exactly how everything does, you've got a nice, useful little toolkit in your pocket. Now, what I like about these, I mean, I've got a couple of these. I've got this one here, which I do actually EDC carry until I got that one. I've got another one of these in my Vespa. I bought myself a Vespa a few months ago. I'm trying to rid of my mod thing. I'll tell you what, just for fun, I'll pop it up there in the corner and you can have a look at my little toy. Um, because you've got something like 24 different size wrenches on these things, you've got a nice sharp edge to cut things with as well. So this is a great tool. This is a really, really great tool. The 4.0, in my opinion, is better. Buy either, buy whichever one suits you. But this 4.0 and the Cerakote coat on it, it feels lovely in the hand. And because it's printed onto the Cerakote, the numbers are very, very, very clear and very, very easy to see. It's not going to replace a Leatherman, but for EDC purposes, if you have this in your pocket, your bag, your work bag, your Maxpedition Neat Freak, your Maxpedition pouch or something like that, you've got a lot of eventualities covered in case you need to use them just by having a knife blade and a beard comb. I mean, that keeps me going most of the days as well. Uh, all those little wrenches in there. Fantastic little tool in Christmas colours as well. So if you do fancy a Christmas present from one of your loved ones, you can always ask them to get yourself one of these. <clears throat> get them on Kickstarter. They'll soon be on their website. Thanks very much for watching this review. Please get in contact if you've got any items you'd like to review, but I'm only reviewing decent stuff now. I'm not reviewing any kind of rubbish, okay? Take care of yourselves. Have a lovely Christmas if I don't see you before that. Get yourself to MRF Motor Tools, and if you use my code UKEDC, you get 10% off as well, and that's across their whole product line, not just this, okay? Take care, peace out, much love, adios.